On July 13th, 2017, the Lady Senator family lost one of their own. Barry Clements, better known as Coach B, tragically passed away. Coach B had been part of the Lady Senator family for over 10 years as a junior varsity coach. He was also the girls' first official Lady Senator coach in elementary to coaching the fifth and sixth grade teams. Coach B will forever be remembered for the spring and his step, his contagious smile, and his love for all referees. He is almost always quick to pick each and every girl. 
Welcome everyone to T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium and Ron Smith Court here at West Washington for tonight's matchup of the West Washington Lady Senators and the Redskins from Indianapolis Emmerich Manor Manual. This is Craig Akers and I will be joined shortly by my broadcast partner, Mr. Keith Abels. <clears throat> what a way to start off the season for the Lady Senators. They played three, they're going to play three games in three days. Today is a back-to-back -back night for them. <clears throat> and then they get a day off Friday and we'll We'll play again Saturday, so four games in five days. What a, what a way to start off. Um, you just saw the, the dedication of the seat for Coach Clemens, who passed away this summer. Um, and the girls have quite a bit of emotion. You can see it um, on their faces. There's, there's not many dry eyes around. Um, tonight is going to be a test of, of the girls' conditioning. You know, they played last night in an up-and-down game, and tonight is going to be more of the same question is can the Lady Senators put up the points that they put up last night against you know uh, uh, another team from Indianapolis um, it's it's also the the style that the um, Lady Redskins want to play they want to get up and down the court so after seeing the Lady Senators play last night many of my questions were answered I'm sure as, as yours were too can they get out and play a fast-paced game for third year coach Russ that third year coach Russell wants to play uh, the girls answer that with an emphatic yes. Can the girls play team defense when the opposition has a big inside threat? Once again, answers yes. Cora Miller and Cassidy Keltner are able to wall up and stop that inside game. And finally, can this, are the Senators really as deep as Coach Russell thinks they are? No doubt. Five girls in double digits and eight players score? That's, a, that's an answer, you know, no, no doubt in my mind. This is a very fun team to watch. Tonight's matchup should be another fun one. <clears throat> Both teams want to push the ball and get out and run and gun. Uh, the Lady Senators will have to rely on junior port point guard Hattie Griffiths to break that pressure of Manuel and dish the ball to open players or take the shot for herself. Keith, what should Hattie be looking for once she breaks that press and gets into the front court? I'd say once she breaks the press and gets in the front court, she's looking for open teammates. She's got so many weapons and uh, growth to pass the ball off, dish it off to, girls open. They'll knock the shots down for her, or if they don't, they want to back off her a little bit, she can attack the rim too. So a lot of good things there she can do. Definitely, definitely. Uh, this team, you know, the team looked like they had very fresh legs at the end of last night's game. Will the girls be able to play that fast-paced game that Coach Russell wants to, wants to play and push the ball for 32 minutes while they're going up and down the court? Or will they be tired tonight, Keith? What do yeah, you think? That'll be a good thing to see right here. After going last night, second game of the season, uh, coming out, ready to run again. It's going to be tough on them, man. But like I said, they are 17, 18, 16-year-old kids. I think that they had the legs to do it. So uh, we'll see. Like I said, I think they'll be able to push it. And good things will happen. <laughs> when we return from a break, we're going to sit down with Coach Russell and get his thoughts about tonight's game. We hear it more and more when people talk about sports. We need to change the culture. No more integrity taking a backseat to performance. No more players, coaches, and fans run amok. No more too big to fail. It sounds good. It sounds reasonable. Come to think of it, it sounds like high school sports. At the Indiana High School Athletic Association, we know that sports are just part of a student athlete's overall education and that there's more to the game than winning. We also know that high school sports are incredibly exciting. They're rich with tradition and bring communities together like nothing else. In a word, they're pure. 
more and more, that's what people want. High school sports. Pure spirit, pure sport. This message brought to you by Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, the IHSAA, and the high schools in this community. Welcome back to the Lady Senator pregame show. I'm joined by Coach Darren Russell. Uh, Coach Russell, talk to me a little bit about last night's game. I know you had a pretty balanced attack. You were, you uh, definitely got out and ran like you wanted to. Um, you know, what, what was your overall thoughts of the game? Well, I, I mean, uh, you know, you look at the scoring, and I think I think that's going to hopefully be a common theme this year. Uh, you know, where we have four, five, six kids in double figures, very, very balanced, and, and typically most nights we're going to have seven, eight kids scoring. So, you know, offensively, I think. You know, we got the production that, that we expected to see coming in. Uh, you know, hopefully our, our shooting gets better as time goes on. And, and it, you know, I'm not concerned it's, it's going to as the first game. Um, you know, so that was kind of be expected. The thing that, you know, after watching film, I'm still the happiest with us night was the way we played defense at. You know, we, we pressured the ball, we moved, we moved well defensively as a team, which was most important. Now, we had breakdowns, which is, which is going to be expected uh, for the first part of the year. But the kids realized what they were doing, where they were supposed to be at. And, you know, the communication, uh, you know, calling out screens, uh, they did a good job of that. Could they have done better? Yeah. Was it better than we've had the last couple of years? Definitely. So, you know, that that's something that, you know, is going to continue to get better and is going to have to get better again if, if we're going to get to where we want to get to. And, uh, you know, but, but the pressure the pressure on the ball is what I liked last night. Is It didn't matter whether it was a point guard, if it was a, a post player. The girl guarding her, you know, was right up into her and, you know, making her life miserable, which is, which is what we want. Uh, you know, typically girls do not like to have somebody right in their face and, you know, where they, they've got to make a decision right now. And we were able to do that after the first quarter, you know, pretty much every possession. Uh, first quarter was not the prettiest and, you know, a lot of that was, was the nerves of the first game of the year. But it's also, you know, we kind of set the tone, set the pace. Uh, you know, we want to get out and get up and down the floor, and, and that's that's what we want to do against most teams. And uh, very few teams are going to have the ability to be able to get out and run with us for four quarters or 32 minutes. And you know, again, that's where our depth comes in. I mean, being able to go eight, nine deep and really not lose a whole lot, uh, where other teams don't have that ability. Uh, you know, to to kind of segue from there. Manual is a team who last year, when, when we played them, they wanted to get out and run, and then they found out, no, they didn't really want to run with us as much as as much as you know they thought they did. Um, you know, what's your what's your thoughts on them? Are they going to try to run? Or are they? You know, I don't know. I, I know that they lost. I can't think of the girl's name. Uh, you know, drove less crazy last year. I, she, I mean, she played like a guy shooting runners in the lane. I mean, I remember she had about 20, right? 20, 28, actually. Oh, well. And, you know, I went back today and watched the film from last year, and, uh, you know, we called the press off pretty early on uh, because she was just dribbling right through us. Uh, you know, but fortunately for us, she's graduated, so, you know, hopefully we can have some success with the press, but even if we don't, the thing that we did have a lot of success with against them last year was getting it out and running the break, and, you know, we, when we're able to do that, we're going to score. And, you know, that, that's what we got to understand is whether we get a turnover off the press or not does not mean we're slowing down. I, you know, you get back in the half court, force them to take a bad shot, get a steal, get it out and go. And, and that's what we're going to look to do again tonight. Um, you know, when you talk about putting up points, um, the three ball for the girls is a, is a huge thing. And, and last night I know you probably weren't very happy with the, the five for 24 from the, from the three point line. Um, you know, are, are you... How, how are you going to address that to the girls? Because they were open shots. I mean, they, they were open. It just wasn't falling for them. So. Uh, yeah, and, and, you know, I've watched these girls shoot all summer and first two weeks of practice, and last night was the worst worst we shot, and you're going to have nights like that. And, you know, the, the thing that I'm going to say to them and have said to them is just because you miss, you know, if you're on balance, you're in rhythm, and you're open, and you're, you better take the shot because uh, last night there, there was a couple times a couple of them had missed a couple and they were open and they hesitated 
or they pass the shot up completely and you know I don't want them playing afraid uh, you know they know that I'm not going to yell at them for, for shooting a shot like that what they're going to get in trouble for is if, when they don't take that shot now if they take take the three after they've not been hitting and someone's in their face and you know that that to me is not a good shot but but we've got several kids who if they're open you know I, I feel like it's going to go in the majority of the time I def definitely agree with you um, you know Ryan, your, your daughter, went one for eight from three, but there's very few nights where she's going to go one for eight. But on the good side of that, she was nine for ten from the free throw line. So, you know, she, she made up in other areas. Is that going to be your, your kind of philosophy for those girls once they're, you know, if they're not hitting threes, are you going to start sending them, you know, to the, to the bucket? Yeah, to... and, and, you know, and that, that's the thing where, where Ryan's got a lot better. She's, she's matured some. In the fact, in the past, that if, if she wasn't hitting her three, you know, she she was out of the game pretty much. But you know, she's learned that if she's not hitting, or they come out on her because I mean, teams realize that she can shoot, so they're going they're going to send people at her, and she's learned how to, to drive around them, get in the lane, shoot a runner, get to the free throw line, as you said, get get to the line ten times last night, make nine. You know, is very good. And in addition to that, you know, even if she hadn't hadn't been scoring, um, you know, she played pretty good defense. Got. I think nine steals, seven or eight assists. So she contributed in other ways, and that's what our girls, all of our girls, understand this year, is it's not all all about scoring. You know, we got to rebound as a team. We've got we've got to get steals as a team. We've got to pass the ball. And, you know, again, offensively, that may be the biggest thing that I was happy or the happiest I was with last night was the way that we moved the ball. The ball did not really die at any point. Uh, you know, we kept that ball moving and got the good shots and, and like I said we didn't shoot the greatest but that's going to come. Yeah yeah um, you know I'm going to brag on your two bigs that you played in the game um, you know uh, Cora Miller and Cassie Keltner both played great games um, I know Cassie would probably like to be on the floor a little more than what she was last night she picked up two early fouls um, but the the Walker girl that they went up against you know she's a, she's a player yeah um, you know as a as a you know young young person on their team and you know she she was their catalyst but those two really went up Really went up against them and, and really stopped her. Yeah, I mean, she the Walker kid is you know for a freshman very athletic, you know not the greatest basketball skills right now, but you know she she did enough to cause us some problems. And, and Cassie and Cora, you know, realized that the longer the game went, what she was going to do because she was pretty one dimensional. She was going to get it and go go left. She wanted to rip her and drive to her left, being left handed. Um, so they start trying to take that away and, you know, was able to limit her, frustrate her at times. And um, so that's good because, I mean, we're not going to see anybody, well, we're going to see some girls the size of her, but not with that athleticism, you know, unless, unless you want to consider the Allen girl from Vietnam. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I was happy with them. Cassidy, you know, we expect big things out of her and for her to come in last night and get two quick fouls. I, and then have to set the rest of the first half. I, it's not something I don't. I don't think you're going to see typical for her during the season. And, and I didn't realize this. She told me this today. It must be. It must be that gym because she said her dad, uh, when he played down there, he got a foul on the jump ball, fouled out in the first quarter. So, so it must be something with the Keltners and the, Car the Carsville gym. So, yeah. you know. But no, I mean she. I, I think a lot of her fouls last night came with the. You know the jitters because that was really her first time playing up uh, or being counted on to play significant minutes in a varsity game. The Cora Miller, I mean, Cora really stepped up as a senior and provided that strength inside for us. Uh, you know, scoring. Uh, she didn't get a lot of rebounds, but she was primarily the one being responsible for blocking uh, Walker out and you know keeping her from getting the rebound. So you know. In a situation like that, it's not about how many rebounds Cora got. It's about did you block her out? Did you make her come over your back, or did you allow your teammate to get the rebound? And she did that. And then I just felt like offensively, Cora was a lot more confident. Last year, you know, I felt like at times she was brushing shots when she did it inside. And this year, or you know, last night, I, she took her time. She went up strong and she finished. You're you're going to see kind of a three-headed attack tonight from from Manuel based on what I've. The research that I've been able to get, they've got the Shropshire girl um, who got 12 in their first game, uh, DeBolt who got 10, and Shotwell who got 10, um, all in their, their first game. 
Um, you know, so they're kind of a, a balanced attack like us. Not quite as right. deep, not quite as many scores, but um, you know, they've got girls who can put the ball in the bucket. Um, what's your what's going to be your attack to kind of uh, slow them down? And, a bit? and they're going to be athletic. I mean, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. I mean, they're, they're, it's, this is going to be one of the more athletic teams that we're probably going to see as far as speed and skill. Um, you know, maybe not basketball skill, but you know, just that athleticism in general. Um, you know. We're going to look to wear them down. Uh, I don't think, you know, when those three girls come off the floor, they're not going to have the depth that we have, and, you know, we want to wear them out. Uh, you know, let them, they may hang around for a while, but we've got, we've got confidence that over the course of the game, you know, we're going to go at some point on a big run, or hopefully we do. Uh, you know, like last night, I think if we went on like a 28-2 to two run or something like that, and, you know, I, I see that being a theme for this team is being able to put that pressure on people and, and really taking them out of, out of game pretty quickly. Exactly. Give me your give me your first five starters. Uh, we'll go the same way we went last night. We'll go with Hattie Hattie at the point, uh, Ryan and Chelsea at the Chelsea Carter at the off guards, and Maddie Bowsman and Cora Miller inside. Uh, sounds good. We will see you definitely after the game uh, to get your thoughts on how your team played tonight. All right. Thank you very much, Craig. Thank you. Is this your course schedule for the fall? Yep. Ah, let me see here. English, good. Chemistry, trigonometry, excellent. World history, oh, I love world history. Baseball, wait, baseball? Baseball isn't a course, honey. Well, sure it is, Mom. High school sports are about so much more than winning and losing. They teach lessons that can't be taught in a classroom, like accountability and self-discipline, the value of teamwork. I may not be earning a grade, but I'm learning how to compete later in life. Isn't that what getting a good education is all about? Yes, of course it is. I was just testing you. <laughs> what can teenagers here in Indiana learn from participating in high school sports? Plenty, as it turns out. That's why they're called education-based athletics. High school sports. There's so much more than just a game. This message presented by the Indiana High School Athletic Association and the Indiana Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. As we come down to a little over or a little under three minutes till tip, keys to tonight's victory for the Lady Senators. It'll be push, push, push. We've got to get up and down the floor. Um, you know, the, just as, as much as we can, that's, that's what we want to do and what Coach Russell wants them to do. He wants them to push the ball. We've got to crash the boards. It's got to be a team effort, um, getting to the board, getting the rebounds. Um, you know, Manuel is a, a fairly tall and athletic team, so we've got to crash the boards hard, and we've got to play d team defense. Last year they had a player who came in and scored 28 on us, um, you know, and we've got to shut down their best player. And maybe, maybe it's a whole team effort from them, and we've got to, got to use our team to shut their team down. Keith, give me some info. Yeah, like you said, Craig, they look uh, fairly, fairly tall, athletic. And we're going to have to get in there and rebound with them. Uh, listen to some of the interview with Coach Russell, uh, just kind of talking about some of the things that he went over last night. you got to open shot. If it's a good shot, let it fly. Like I said, all these girls can hit shots at any time. Uh, share the ball, play good defense. Push it, rebound. Definitely, definitely. <clears throat> We're going to step away, take one more short commercial break. Um, we've got about a minute 30 before we come back and actually get the game going. So we're going to step away here, short commercial, and we'll be back for the start of the basketball home season for these Lady Senators. If an individual student athlete or team wins a high school state championship, it's an amazing thing. It's also just the icing on the cake. That's because young people in Indiana who participate in education-based athletics are already winners. Studies show that win or lose, participation helps to impart skills they can use to enjoy greater success in other areas of their lives. School sports teach the benefits of teamwork, the value of self-motivation, and the importance of accountability. They also help to foster stronger work habits and higher levels of self-esteem. In other words, the true value of school sports can't be measured in terms of wins or losses. If an individual or team goes to state, it's an incredible accomplishment. But regardless of the outcome, today's student athletes are already destined to go far. School sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Indiana High School Athletic Association and the Indiana Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association.
we're going to let you tune in and hear the national anthem. We're back for the starting lineups. Um, <clears throat> third year head coach Darren Russell comes in with a record of 28 and 24. Uh, last, last night they were able to defeat, to defeat Clarksville 75-28. Uh, overall in the past 15 years against Emmerich Manuel, uh, the West Washington Lady Senators are 1-0 with that one win coming last year, 97-58. Head coach for the Manuel Redskins is Jim Sturgeon. 21 and 28 in his three years here at Manual, but is 332 and 207 in his in his 25 years um, as a head coach. 0-1 on this year. They lost Tuesday to Madison Shaw, uh, 45 to 60. So um, to start the game for the Emmerich Manual Redskins is a junior. Uh, Latanya Shopshire uh, got 12 points in her first game. Next. Uh, in the backcourt is her running mate, the senior guard, Brianna DeBolt. Uh, forward is Asher Shotwell. The other forward is Alexis Westerfield, number three. And then junior guard, Jalicia Hankston, number 12, um, rounds out their starting lineup for them. On the West Washington Lady Senator side, starting the same lineup they started l last night. <clears throat> number three, Ryan Russell, sophomore guard, 5'7". Uh, Maddie Bowsman, number two, 5'10", junior guard. Chelsea Carter, senior guard, 5'4", uh, number five. Cora Miller, 5'9", senior, uh, forward center, number 12. And Hattie Griffiths, the junior guard, 5'5", number one, the point guard that we're going to rely on tonight to break the press of Emmerich Manuel. We're going to let you listen in as uh, addre public address announcer Claude Combs announces the girls. Yeah, I always enjoy Claude. Claude, Claude, them. Claude announcing them, you know, really gets them, gets them going, um, especially the girls. He seems to do a really good job getting them, you know, pumped before the game. <clears throat> Starting off tonight, um, if you are at home watching on WW Senator live stream, we are following that one. So if you do uh, send a message to that one, we will see it. Um, if, you're, if you're watching on the other two options, you uh, can comment, but we won't see them tonight. So we won't see them until I get home and check there. So if you're wanting to comment, uh, definitely be sure and um, let us know how it's going. If you're able to hear us, if you're not able to hear us, that way we can make adjustments here as the game is going on. 
Gracie told me likes are good things, so maybe we'll get some <laughs> likes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've got a few a few likes already. So are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Oh man. No, we're <laughs> so we're on our way. <clears throat> nice pass. Nice. Chelsea Carter with the first two of the game. That was shot. Uh, they handled the press better than I thought they were going to right there. Lady Senators come out in their offense. They find Russell in the corner for three. Come out in full court trap trying to speed the game up. Oh, just had it. Shropshire goes up and misses that one. Um, the Lady Senators are not able to rebound it, but it does go out of bounds to the Lady Senators. Oh, we pick up a foul. Hankston picks up the foul. First on the team, first on her. Maddie picks up the foul couple of Redskins down there. Um, official comes over to make the call. 33. Shotwell picks up that foul. Two shots for Maddie Bowsman. Two quick fouls on them. Yeah, Maddie Bowsman was one of one last night, so she's shooting 100% at the line. I know that's always the jinx. Yeah, it didn't work that time. <laughs> didn't work that time, though. We're going to break that yeah. this year. <coughs> Well, Ryan's already came out, uh, one hit, one three right there. Bowsman two for two from the line tonight, three for three on the season. The Lady Senators pick up the full court press. Oh, there we go. Right. Shropshire comes down the middle there. Good rebound by Cora. Unable to hit it, Cora oh, she had it. gets the rebound. But then a quick turnover. Ryan Russell picks up the foul. She must have knocked her contact out or something. Yeah. Debolt hits the shot. And she's going to get to uh, shoot a free throw there also to make it a three point play. I said she had the rebound in her hand, but then <laughs> I guess her contact <laughs> must have came out yeah, and she just let it go. Cora's trying to find it. I think she's got it in her hand now. So <laughs> she's going to put it right back in. Maybe. You <laughs> wear contacts? I, I do. You do? I know it's definitely difficult. I wouldn't be able to put, put the contacts back in like that. Well, you have to have some kind of solution, don't you? Usually, usually. So they're going to sub. They're going to bring Cassidy Keltner in and let uh, Cora Miller get that contact fixed. Uh, DeBolt is at the line to try to finish off this three-point play. High shot. Is unable to get it, but it goes out of bounds off of Cassidy Keltner. So the Lady Redskins retain possession here. Well, one of the keys we talked about was rebounding. That's two back-to-back -back rebounds yep. for the Redskins. That's a good block, Cassidy. Keltner with the block and then the quick turnover also. Russell with a steal. Throw ahead to Maddie Bowsman. Bowsman pulls up, unable to hit. Oh, they're running now. Oh. That was Shropshire able to hit. Assist to DeBolt. Russell for three. No good. DeBolt with the rebound. Tied up at half court and Travel. travels. Russell in the corner, pump fakes. Oh, blocking foul. Foul on number three, that is Alexis Westerfield. Her first foul. Alexis Westerfield, first 
Ball comes out underneath. Back to Carter. Chelsea Carter misses, but Hattie Griffith's able to get the rebound. Not able to put it up. Senator Ball underneath the basket. Big block by, by Shotwell. Hankston with the bucket. Russell drives all the way. There you go, way to take it in. Shotwell picks up her second foul. <clears throat> so she's gonna have to go to the bench. Shotwell checks out. Michaela Livers getting ready to check in. Ryan was 9 of 10 last night, 90%. Ryan's one of those streaky shooters. She hit her first three there and then uh, missed a free throw. So we'll see if she can get on a roll here. Hit the second one. Lady Senators tied up here 8-8. Eight to eight. Pick okay. up the full court press. Got a tip, no deflection. Oh. Out of bounds off of Ryan Russell. Once again, not tracking deflections last night or I'd be out of ink. <laughs> Russell with a block. Let's put that on the stat sheet. <laughs> yeah. That was a uh, Cassidy Keltner volleyball <laughs> spike. <laughs> Coach Russell said that Cassidy gets one of those a game. She's, she gets to swing at one of them. The rest <laughs> of them she's got to wall up on. <laughs> she tried it there, didn't she? <clears throat> Chelsea Carter brings it up into the front court. Carter for three, a little short. Russell going to pick up a foul there. That's two on Russell. Fouch is going to come in to relieve Russell. I know Punky's out there listening. <coughs> Chelsea Carter steps in front of that pass, but unable to control it. So it's once again out of bounds to the Lady Redskins. Once again, scores tied 8-8. Matty Bowsman with the rebound off of Hankston's miss. Bowsman with a shot fake. Unable to knock that one down. Can't seem to get nothing to fall. Picks it up. I don't know if that's supposed to be a shot <laughs> or a pass. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> Carter able to that find Maddie Bowden. Right well, we're out of the press now. Yeah, we're going to set back. They're, they're kind of breaking our press. Yeah, they handled it better than I thought they would. This is Michaela Livers. Goes up, unable to connect. Bowsman with the rebound. Out ahead to Fouch. Fouch Good with job, an Taylor. easy layup. Already four Lady Senators in the scoring book. I think they're going to get Chelsea Carter here with hands in the back. Nope, they're going to get Cassidy Kelton. Hankston comes to the line. Hits the first one. Hankston was three of four from the free throw line in her first game, 75%. She's got a nice looking shot. Hits her second one. Oh. 
Strokeshire with a three. Officials definitely letting him play. Oh well, yeah, a lot of contact here. Bowsman misses. Livers with the rebound. The Redskins want to slow it down a little bit now too. So once we came out of that press, everybody kind of slows it down a little bit. We Keltner. Got, I think we got to quit fouling <coughs> so much here. Keltner picks up her second. So Punky Fouch says, "Yep, he's in uh, Oak Ridge, Tennessee." So Tennessee. <coughs> Hankston goes to the line. Misses the first one. Cora Miller comes in to relieve Cassidy Keltner, who picks up two quick fouls. So right now we got Cassidy with two and Ryan with two. Yep. <laughs> Hankston misses. Hankston then picks up the foul. Hankston now has two. Miller unable to finish that one. Fouch unable to finish that one. Good ball movement. Maddie Bowsman goes up strong, unable to finish, but picks up the foul on Livers, which will be her second now. Um, Kayla Livers, Livers that's seven, her second. Well, we got two minutes and 33 <laughs> seconds in the first quarter. We're in the bonus. And we're in the bonus, one and one from here on. So hmm. this game's going to be a long one. I can I can feel. Maddie Bowsman steps to the line and misses her first free throw. Steps up for the second one. Hits that one. Score tied 13 all. 2.32 to go. Chelsea Carter with a steal. Look ahead. Nice. Head nice. to Maddie Bowsman. I'll tell you what, both teams like to push it a little bit here. Debolt with the bucket. Chelsea Carter unable to hit the shot. Livers grabs the rebound. Hattie Griffiths pick up, picks up the foul. Her first. Livers unable to finish. Poor Miller gets the rebound. 22, DeBolt gets the foul. So we're shooting one and one. Not out of the first quarter yet. <laughs> oh, that, they've only got three players on the bench here. Yeah, they, they only dress eight for varsity. Yeah. So. so, yeah, they don't want to get in too much foul trouble. They won't have enough players here. I think it's the style they play. Everything's just so fast paced and. For unable to hit. Michaela Livers loses her glasses, so official timeout for the equipment. Kickball. Couldn't quite see who got their foot on that one, but.
Shropshire unable to hit that one. Matty Bowsman able to sink the bucket and get fouled. 44, Michaela Livers picks up her third foul. Bowsman steps to the line looking for her 10th point. Able to get it. Lady Senators are out ahead 18-15. Just a little over a minute to go. Westerfield unable to hit. Core Miller gets the ball. Maddie Bowsman with a miss on the other end. And here we come back this way. <laughs> yeah, very fast pace, man. Yeah. Chelsea Carter picks up the foul. Team sixth. Latone West, uh, Latone Shropshire on the line for free throws. Hits the first one. Can you say that fast three times? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I had to get some uh, help on the pronunciations of some of these names. So. That one's a tough one, man. <laughs> Hits the second one. Chelsea Carter hits every part of the rim, but unable to get it. Taylor Fouch puts another one up, unable to hit that too. Good tennis, Taylor. Fouch finishes the bucket and picks up the foul. Ten Livers picks up the foul. <laughs> Bailey Roll coming in to give Maddie Bowsman a break. Fouch with the free throw to complete the three-point play. Lady Senators up 21-17. Good job. Fouch able to. Way to finish the quarter right yep. there. We're going to step aside, take a quick commercial break. Let us catch our breath in that first quarter, and we'll be back in just a minute. Looking for future leaders we can trust and believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Indiana. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It begins by making their grades and being on time for practice. It includes learning to listen, following directions, accepting responsibility, being a good role model. And it's about respect for officials, opponents, the rules, and each other. The result, it transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. High school sports. There's so much more than just a game. This message presented by the Indiana High School Athletic Association and the Indiana Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. So what's her first name? Uh, Latonia. Latonia yeah. Strokes right. We're back to live Lady Senator basketball action here. Yeah, that was a good way to finish that quarter right there, Taylor knocking that bucket in. It looks like so far their legs are there. Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, legs are there 
through the first uh, eight minutes. Once again, those of you watching out there on WW Senator Radio, it's also available on WW Senator Livestream. Um, that radio link will be down come um, the beginning of December. So if you're watching on that, make sure you like the other one so that you can watch the games for the second half of the season. DeBolt unable to hit the shot there, but then able to scramble around for her own rebound. Shropshire ends up short on a three where Cora Miller pulls down that rebound. Bailey rolled down the lane, with a, gets her shot blocked, but <laughs> Taylor Fouch is able to finish that bucket. <clears throat> the bolt misses a three, but then it goes off of Taylor Fouch's hand, <clears throat> out of bounds. to bolt with the ball. <laughs> Going to get Miller with the foul there underneath on the block attempt. Shot well. Maddie Bowsman back into the lineup, gives Hattie Griffiths a blow. Shot well with her second free throw attempt. That one's no good. Didn't hit rim, so Lady Senators get the ball out of bounds underneath. Lady Senators definitely looking for the corners. Bowsman unable to hit. Bailey Roll going to pick up that foul. Well, a bonus, too. That was the first time I think I've seen anything set up tonight. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a good look at it. Number 12, Felicia Hankston steps to the line. Sorry, Zalisha Hankston. Able to hit that one. I wonder how long the drive was, Craig. Do you dare? Two hours? Uh, probably. I believe they're on the south side of Indy, so, um, you know. Second shot. Up and good for Zalisha Hankston. Thanks to now with the steal and the layup. Hattie Griffiths checking back into the lineup. Bailey roll coming out. Ball comes out over the top to Hattie. Maddie Bowsman in the corner. No good. Well, they do like to push it. Here we go. Shropshire with the ball. Hankston unable to finish. I think Fouch is going to pick this one up. This game might end up two on two before it's all over with. <laughs> well, we're we've we're got quite a few double bonus. We're in double bonus the rest of the game or the rest of the half, so it's gonna be be a long one here. Six minutes, six oh seven left. Hankston with the free throw, it's good. That's her ninth point of the night. Steps up for the second one. Is able to hit that one. Bowsman able to finish that one. 
think this is her chance for a second three-point play tonight. Yeah. That's her 12th point of the night. Well, sure Shotwell picks up her third foul. Man, that's tough. So they bring back in Michaela Livers, who already has three. <coughs> Bowsman at the line. Knocks that one down. 13 on the night so far for Maddie Bowsman. Livers underneath. I'm going to give it a try. Shrop Shropshire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Hattie Griffiths brings the ball across half court. Bowsman uh, again. That was good ball movement. Senators out to a seven point lead here, 30 23. Miller with a block. Carter going down the lane. Alexis Westerfield picking up that foul. Chelsea Carter coming into the game was two of four. That one was a little short. Gets set for the second free throw here. Gets that one. That's a good defense right Fouch there. Fouch with the steal. And the leak out. Able to put that one away. She's having a good half, too. Yep. <clears throat> Coach Jim Sturgeon going to call a timeout here. He's looking for a full timeout, so we're going to step away, take a quick break, let us catch our breath. We'll be back with you in just a minute. Have you noticed? Sports today are different. Today's athletes are bigger and stronger. They run faster, jump higher, and hit harder than ever before. But there is one thing that hasn't changed about sports, and that's the importance of practicing sportsmanship. At the Indiana High School Athletic Association, we like to remind you that winning isn't everything. The way you play matters, and a true champion plays the game with respect. For the opponent, for the coaches, and for the officials. True champions practice sportsmanship with the same degree of intensity that they play the games themselves. Sports may evolve, athletes may change, but the mark of a true champion will always be the same. Play like a champion. Practice sportsmanship. This message brought to you by the Indiana High School Athletic Association and the high schools in your community. Back to live action here. The Lady Senators have stretched out a 10-point lead here with about 4.55 left to go in the first half. Ball coming up the court with the Lady Redskins. <laughs> 22, DeBolt with a nice shot there. Uh. Kick ball. You can hear Coach Russell saying, you know, swing the ball. It's got to be quick. In order to get those open shots, you got to swing the ball around very quickly to find those open shots. There you go. Good there cut, is. Cora. Cora with the bucket there. Nice cut. Nice look by Chelsea. Chelsea picks up an assist from about 35 feet from the bucket. <laughs> Fouch with a, with a kick ball. <clears throat> That would be a good time to put a little run together here this last yep. four minutes. That's what Coach Russell talked about, you know, being able to get those runs going where they can go out and score, you know, 20, 25 points. You got 10 points here if you get it up. Maybe another five, six. Good. 
jump ball. Going to stay with the Lady Senators. Going to get a 30-second timeout here by Coach uh, Sturgeon. We're going to stay with you. Kalisha Livers jumps in the game. Uh, that this will be her. She's been in the game, but hasn't seen a whole lot of uh, time here because she picked up that quick foul, and they were worried about foul trouble. But then uh, they've they've got quite a few others who <laughs> have some foul trouble, trouble too. So um, you know, how many do we, how many do they got with three? Uh, they've got two with three. Livers um, and Shotwell both have three. three. Both of their their big inside threats. So. Miller with a nice bucket there. Nice out of bounds play. That's what Coach Russell would, you know, he loves to see that out of bounds, able to score an easy bucket. Travel by uh, Hankston there. Give the ball back to the Lady Senators. Dennis Tankersley tuning in out there. <coughs> Chelsea Carter able to grab that one. Nice shot fake. Maddie Bowsman steps into one, misses. Hankston gets the rebound there. Hattie putting some good defense on right there. Look at that hustle. That's Look a that. straight hustle play. What's she call? What the heck did he just call, man? He just called an over and open back from well, he underneath was the bucket. Yeah, he was, he was uh, <laughs> That's a 40 foot from the call and the guy standing right there. I think they're going to change this one over, Craig. Yep. That was a terrible I would, call. I would believe that that one's going to come back because he's 30 feet at least from there. Yeah. I mean, that, that was great hustle. Yeah, they're over discussing it. I think they're going to change it. So, white ball. Yeah. White ball, good. Good job of getting with the other official yeah, to, yeah. to make sure it's the correct call and getting the right call so that, you know, you don't punish the girls for, you know, a good effort. A great hustle play. I mean, that was, that was terrific. Miller unable to finish that one. Hey, whoa, watch out here. Whoa, no. Hankston with a shot. Sorry, DeBolt with a shot underneath, um, but unable to finish it. <laughs> Punky okay. tells us uh, that the Astros are up 2-0 in the top of the second, if anyone wants to know. <laughs> so we're, we're getting outside updates about the <laughs> baseball also. Chelsea Carter unable to get that one. Livers. Uh, Twenty-two. DeBolt picks up her second foul. Maddie Bowsman back to the line. Are you pulling for the Astros? Uh. Or the Dodgers. I'm an A's fan, so I got you, <laughs> you know the I, I'm not. I really don't care, but at least the Dodgers are in the same state as the A's. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, all the stuff that happened down there in Houston, with all that flooding and yeah, stuff, man. That's yeah. kind of just giving them some bright light. That's what I'm pulling for. But I really don't have a dog in a fight. Bowsman sinks another two free throws, up to 17 points in the first half. So, oh, I'm traveling. There's a travel on the younger Livers. That's Keisha Livers, the freshman forward. Hattie with a stop and go move. Michaela Livers pulls down that rebound and then turns it over. I don't think he wanted her dribbling up the court. No, definitely didn't. Coach Russell telling them, slow it down, get get back in control. It's okay to play fast, but you don't have to be out of control when mm -hmm. you're playing fast. That's a travel. <clears throat> a 
kind of pressured into that one the way the ball was inbounded to her. Didn't really have a whole lot of ability to go different oh, ways. Just, just Redskins back turn forward, back, back over forward. to them, so. Another foul. <laughs> Shropshire going to pick up the foul there. Fouch is going to go to the line. Fouch comes to the line. A little long. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is what the heck is going on here? <laughs> there, there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> they threw it up from the bag. The, the net was stuck. Yeah. The official tries to get it down, throws it up the first time, gets it stuck worse. <laughs> then throws up a, a layup and misses it. Fouch able to sink that free throw. We Lady Senators are up 15 now. They're They're stretching out that lead a little bit. DeBolt unable to hit the three. Miller with the rebound. Out to Matty Bowsman for a layup. Nice. You can kind of tell they're starting to wear down. Putting yeah. that run on. They were up by 10 a minute ago. Now up by 17. Yep. Hattie's putting some good pressure on. Yeah. But she got a little too Oh, going to pick up a cheap foul there. Yeah. That's Hattie's second. <coughs> she was playing really good defense, though. But she got a little too aggressive. So far, we've got two Lady Senators in double digits here. We've got Maddie Bowsman with 19. and That's a good half right there. Yeah. But I'll tell you, it's a quiet 19. Yeah. I, yeah. Didn't, I didn't really realize that. And then Fouch has 12, so definitely coming, coming through with those two. Nice move, Chelsea. Chelsea Carter able to streak down the middle of the lane with a shot. Top of her foot. Bailey Roll comes back in. To give Hattie a break. Bailey Roll tries to get the steal there, but is standing out of bounds when she grabs the ball, so unable to retain possession there. Minute 24 left to go in the first half. Nice steal, step in front. Good decision making too right there. Miller unable to hit. Fouch give her the rebound on the knockout. Chelsea Carter unable to hit. One minute left. Shropshire misses. There you go. Carter with the rebound. Out to Maddie Bowsman. Bowsman with her 21st point. Oh, don't. You hear Senator Nation over there calling out the time left, which is not quite accurate. <laughs> I thought she was going to shoot it, and I was like, don't do that. <laughs> DeBolt misses the three. Somehow. Bailey Roll going to pick up her second foul. Brianna DeBolt steps to the free throw line. DeBolt was 0 of 2 in the first game of the year. Misses that one. Dylan Moore out there watching. He just tuned in. I know last game he wasn't sure how to get on, so I guess he got it figured out. This is the second one, but Hankston able to get the rebound. 28.6 seconds left. Lady Senators up 21 points here. The 
the bolt misses badly. Carter with the steal. Nice look. Or nice. Carter with the rebound. Fouch misses the layup. Carter with the steal. Michaela Livers shoots. Oh, sorry, not Michaela. Yeah, no. Uh, which Livers was that? I thought it was Michaela. Wasn't it? Hello? Keisha. Keisha. La Ke Keisha Livers shoots that one and misses. End of the first half here. We're going to take a quick break and come back with some halftime stats. Um, we'll be back in just a minute. What makes high school sports here in Indiana so special? They do. You do. We all do. High school sports. It's the we that every community needs. This message presented by the Indiana High School Athletic Association and the Indiana Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Story of the first half for the Lady Senators and uh, Lady Redskins is some sloppy basketball. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had the, the West Washington Lady Senators with 12 turnovers in the first half, and then I had the Lady Redskins with 15 turnovers in the first half. So Gracie's standing here in front of us. She, uh, I believe she said she wanted to get on live stream tonight. She came up before the JV game and said she wanted on. So here's her chance. She can, she can throw on a headset and and get on here. Well, you know what she wants, right? <laughs> she wants dollar bills yeah, to, go, exactly. to go to the concession more stand. Money, so. More money, more <laughs> um, money. Lady Senators in the first half, Maddie Bowsman leads the way with 21 points on 7 of 14 uh, field, goals o field goals overall um, and 7 of 8 free throws, so 21 points for her. Um, next up is Taylor Fouch with 12. She was 5 of 8 from the floor and 2 of 3 from the free throw line. Uh, Chelsea Carter comes in and gets – uh, three of six from the from the floor, and one of two from the line for seven points. Ryan Russell with four with those two early fouls doesn't see a whole lot of time, and Cora Miller with four um, for on the floor to be able to round out the Lady Senators scoring 48 points in that first um, half. Lady Senators had 23 points in the first quarter, 25 in the second. They do have 21 total rebounds and seven assists, three blocks, um, and like I said enough turnovers for a whole game. So I'm sure Coach Russell's up there probably telling them, you know, protect the ball, protect the ball, don't let them, uh, you know, take the ball away from you. The uh, Lady Redskins come out um, with Hankston getting 10 in the first um, half on two of three from the field and six of eight from the line for 75%. Shropshire has seven points with one of five, uh, two point, one of six from three point and two of two from the line. DeBolt has six points on two of three, or two of six in two-point range. And um, Assure Shotwell has two points to give the Lady Redskins 25 total. Um, 
they they have 19 rebounds, so that tells you there's a lot of balls going up that are not great um, shots, you know, bringing down that many rebounds. So um, for the Lady Redskins, they do they are at 25% overall from everywhere, 35% on two-point field goals, 9% on three-point field goals, and 47%, 8 of 17 from the free throw line. So um, Coach Sturgeon's going to have some, some talks about the, the free throw line and knocking down those three points there. The um, Lady Senators are 45% overall from the floor, 17 of 23 for 53% from two-point range, one of eight for 12% from three-point range, 11 of 16 for 68% from the free throw line. I know Coach Russell before the game said, you know, they've got to knock down. They want to be at 70% from the free throw line or better. Um, and, you know, he, he also said that they were shooting way too many threes, so you see that they limited those to only eight in the first half. Um, so definitely definitely a, a big turnaround. Like I said, the, the Lady Senators have seven assists, three blocks, and 21, you know, rebounds. So they are getting after the ball underneath the, the bucket to get those rebounds, which was part of our uh, keys to victory there. We're going to step aside and come back. We've got a little over four minutes, um, and we'll be back to start the second half. Who do I, I play high school softball for? I play for my mom and dad who've never missed a game. I play for the smell of my leather glove, the sound of infield chatter, and that incredible feel of the ball jumping off my bat. I play for sacrifice bunts and sacrifice flies because they've taught me what it means to be a teammate. Whether they're playing for their teammates, their classmates, or their community, High school student athletes in Indiana learn important lessons they'll use for the rest of their lives, like respect for the rules, time management skills, and the value of hard work and sacrifice. I play high school softball for my friends who decorate my locker before every big game. That's who I play for. Play for keeps. Play for fun. Play on. This message presented by the Indiana High School Athletic Association and the Indiana Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. It's your ticket to affordable family fun. It's your ticket to high drama, spectacular action, and magical moments. It's your ticket to an experience you'll never forget. It's your ticket to the IHSAA Girls and Boys State Basketball Tournaments. Attending a Girls or Boys Tournament game is a fun, affordable way to see Indiana's game played the way it was intended to be, for the pure love of it. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and the Indiana High School Athletic Association invite you to be part of the state's rich tradition of high school sports. Pure spirit, pure sport, pure state tournament excitement. The drama is set to tip off. Do you have your ticket? Back to live action. The Lady Senators are up 48-25 at halftime. We're a minute 30 away from coming back to live action. Uh, Punky Fouch just gave me the message that the Astros are up five to nothing with two outs in the top of the second. So they're putting up the, the runs in the second for those Astro fans out there. Lady Senators are out to a 23-point lead here against the Lady Redskins of Emmerich Manuel out of Indianapolis. <coughs> Um, definitely, definitely a, a half that Coach Russell is probably okay with. 
um, point wise, but turnovers, Keith, not gonna not gonna cut it yeah, for the rest of the they're year. They're gonna have to clean the turn out, turnovers up, but you know, all in all, they played pretty good. I think with like four minutes left in the second quarter, uh, you know, they were up by ten and they really stretched that lead out. Uh, and they had the Redskins eight points here in the se in the second quarter. So I mean, you know, they played better defense. Like you said, the shots are going up, and we're rebounding, so that's all you can do. Like I said, they're playing good. Hey, I think uh, Russell on the bench with two fouls. Uh, Keltner was on the bench with two fouls. So everybody stepped in, and did their did their job, and uh, it was a good it was a good half. Yeah, yeah, gonna have a uh, a definite foul issue um, if the fouls continue to be called how they are, because going down the uh, manual lineup, they've got. Uh, They've got two players with three fouls and four players with two fouls. So definitely a. Uh yeah, and that's the good thing with us. You know, you're getting foul trouble too. Then you're getting foul trouble. Next person steps up, man. Next person steps up. Right. So I, I would never guess Maddie Bowsman to have 21 points. Yep, that's that what I've really got her for. So yeah, yeah well, I totally, <laughs> yeah. I just, it was so quiet, I guess, that I just didn't. I don't know. Yeah, both teams start out the uh, second half with their same starting lineups that they started the game with. <laughs> that was a sure shot well comes up and uh, hits the first shot of the half. Moving the ball around. Matty Bowsman comes out with the Boom. floater. Just like the way the first half ended, Matty Bowsman back on the score again. Sturgeon, Coach Sturgeon is not very happy at all. He calls a 30 second timeout uh, right into, right to start off the, uh, the half. Only 29 seconds in, he's not happy with the, with the offense that they're running or the defense that they played. So. Coach Sturgeon, you know, with his 332 wins, he's got some definite basketball oh knowledge yeah. that he's that he's trying to get these girls to, to buy into. So, <clears throat> and I think that was specifically at um, Asher Shotwell, who, you know, is one of their better players, but didn't get a whole lot of time there in the first half with her three fouls. So, Hattie Griffiths picks up some little three-quarter court pressure. Westerfield unable to hit, but gets her own rebound. For sure, Shotwell up short. Maddie Bowsman with the rebound. She's a presence down low. Carter puts up the shot, no good. Hattie, no good. Matty Bowsman with the roll, very nice. Bowsman with 25. Shot well over the back, going to pick up her fourth. I wonder what her career high is. She got to be getting close, you think? Uh, yeah, she's definitely close. I don't know. I don't know how many she had. Um, last year in sectional, I think, was her one of her higher right. games, but I don't know how many she had, so. Shot well with the block there. Bowsman short heat on check. that one. Heat yep, check. heat check. <laughs> oh my, I can miss tonight. DeBolt with the shot. A little long, Cora Miller with the rebound. Russell drives all the way underneath, oh, kicks it out to Hattie. Hattie unable to handle it, so they reset the offense. Russell drives down the middle, unable to get it, but Hankston comes down with the rebound. Bowsman outlets to Russell. Russell to Carter. Carter goes up for the shot, but is fouled by Westerfield. Foul 
Once again, for those of you out there who are watching on WW Senator Radio, that site will be taken down halfway through the year, December. So make sure you get on and like WW Senator live stream. Chelsea Carter sinks the first free throw. Getting ready for the second one. The senior point or the senior guard hits the second one. Carter now has nine. Lady Senators Did he call a timeout or she? I am guessing he called a timeout. <laughs> Full timeout uh, to the Lady Redskins. Coach Sturgeon wants to talk about it. We're going to step away, take a short break, be back in just a minute. It's your ticket to affordable family fun. It's your ticket to high drama, spectacular action, and magical moments. It's your ticket to an experience you'll never forget. It's your ticket to the IHSAA Girls and Boys State Basketball Tournaments. Attending a Girls or Boys Tournament game is a fun, affordable way to see Indiana's game played the way it was intended to be, for the pure love of it. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and the Indiana High School Athletic Association invite you to be part of the state's rich tradition of high school sports. Pure spirit, pure sport, pure state tournament excitement. The drama is set to tip off. Do you have your ticket? Coach Sturgeon uh, just had a chuckle because they told him he had one timeout left, and he said, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> Lady Senators with the basketball. <laughs> Lots of action. Westerfield misses a shot. Hankston with the rebound, but then gets fouled. White 12. Cora Miller. Her second foul, team's first of the half. Leaves that one a little short. Able to get that one to go for Hankston. She now has 11. Russell swings the ball into Maddie Bowsman. Maddie Bowsman goes nice around back out. out to Carter. Carter for that three. Is good. And that's that. good right there. If we play like that, that's yeah. very hard to defend. Inside out, man, that's tough. Everybody claps on you, hoping, hoping to drill Chelsea Carter and knock it down. Carter has 12 points on the night. Same thing. Oh. Bowsman getting ready to make a, a big post move there. Seal her off with a drop step and go up strong. So. Oh. <laughs> Russell gets fouled on that one. I think she was bailed out by the official there. I don't know that she got hit as hard as it made it look. But yeah, I think she might have lost, lost control of the ball a little bit. 33. Westerfield picks up her fourth foul. Two shots for Ryan Russell. Hits the first one. Russell now with five on the ninth. Make that six. Yeah. We're well on the way to getting those girls uh, all in double digits that were in there the first game. So Chelsea Carter, uh, sorry, Cora Miller with the steal.
<laughs> Carter trying to steal that one from the official. <laughs> was she? <laughs> she was standing underneath, ready to take it out, and they were like, uh, no, it's red ball. <laughs> <laughs> so great idea, just didn't quite yeah. work out. Hattie Griffiths picks up her third foul. In comes Fouch and Keltner. Out goes Carter and Miller. This is Cassidy's first action since Yeah, she, early she picked up two quick ones. So Hattie with her hand on the ball again. <coughs> Hattie pulls down the rebound. Ah. Move, Cass. Keltner up strong for her first bucket of the night. Alexis Westerfield's looking tired. She's the, the point guard who I don't believe has come out of the game yet tonight. And she's been hounded by Hattie and Maddie all night. Oh, there's Russell going up strong, unable to avoid the contact with the body. So that'll be Russell's third foul. Two shots. Yeah, Craig, I agree with you. I think, I think she's getting tired. <laughs> she, she she looks tired. Yeah. Hankston able to knock that one home for her 12th point on the night. Coach Russell senses that they're tired, so he's going to have them push the ball. That's got to be four on her, I think. That's her fifth. Fifth? I believe that's her fifth. Yep. So she's got to come out of the game. In comes Kalisha yeah, Livers. Yeah, she'll have plenty of time to rest. She was tired. Yep. Yep, she'll have plenty of time to rest, but now they lose their their best ball handler. handler so yeah, she's going to come out and uh, <coughs> come out and have to sit. So That's one thing I noticed about her. She really handled the ball. Good. Yeah, she handles the ball really Keeps well. Keeps it in so tight to her body, and it's hard to take it from her. Lady Senators have stretched it out to a 31-point lead, 61-30 with 3.33 left to go in the third. <laughs> That's a lot of threes. Russell to the line. Misses the first. Only her second free throw miss on the year. Hits that one. So Russell now has seven points in the game. Thirty two point lead here for the Lady Senators. Hattie with the steal to Maddie Bowsman. You can tell the primary ball, ha ball handlers out of the yep. game. Primary ball handlers out of the game makes it difficult for them to get in their offense and get the ball moving. So, Shropshire misses. Russell with the rebound. Uh, oh. I don't think she was even looking <laughs> at her. Ryan with the turnover hits Hattie in the back with it, I believe. So, Jana Russell's actually sitting in the building and watching on <laughs> on live stream. So, uh, that's that's a new one for oh, me. Oh, is she really? Yeah, <laughs> I see her up there looking down at her phone. So, I don't know if she's got the volume on or not, but. <laughs> I think she needs to talk to somebody about getting some better seats. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two, Debolt picks up the foul.
Good ball movement there. Roll trying to come out of there with the rebound. Official's going to keep it with red ball. Oh, sorry, going to go white ball. <coughs> nope. Going to pick up a foul there. I don't know if they're going to get Hattie or if they're going to get Cassidy. Hattie with her fourth foul. And she's going to get a rest too. Chelsea Carter comes in to relieve her. Oh, stepped over the line. Liver steps over the line, so that'll be a turnover for the Redskins. Chelsea Carter bringing the ball up. Lady Senators have stretched it out to a 34-point lead. Back to Carter for three from the top. Shropshire with the rebound. Keltner with the shot inside. Bailey Roll going to pick up the foul. By this time in the first half, we were in the bonus shooting mm -hmm. free throws. Hankston goes up, unable to connect on the short layup. Russell knocks it out of bounds, so Lady Redskins have the ball. Yeah. Now Hankston tries to dribble it, dribbles it off her own foot out of bounds, so <clears throat> turnover. Chelsea Carter now turns and brings the ball up. Russell for three. Mm -hmm. Keltner knocks the ball out. Nice look. <clears throat> you, Craig, do you reckon they have school tomorrow? <laughs> no, I, mean, sure. no, I know we do. I'm, I'm sure there. they probably do. It'll be a late night trip for them, I'm sure. Man, it, it, I mean. They might not get home close to midnight. Yeah. DeBolt picks up her fourth. Fouch to the line. Hits the first one. Yeah, definitely going to be a, a, a late, late night, night for yeah. them getting home. Not going to be out of here until probably around 10 o'clock at least. Yeah. Then two-hour drive home. It might even be later than midnight. Yeah. DeBolt with a nice move down the middle. Bailey Roll comes out with the rebound. Fouch leaks out and gets the easy two. Shropshire in the corner. Russell. It's the steal. Feeds nice it to pass. Carter. Carter for two. That's way to be unselfish right there. That's good basketball. This game's getting out of hand. <coughs> Lady Senators are up 40. You know, that first quarter, too, we were sitting there watching it, and I really thought this team was going to, you know, they looked pretty good that first yeah. quarter. I think they just ran out of gas. When you only play eight varsity players, mm -hmm. <coughs> you, you tend to run out of gas. And then they got in foul trouble. Yep, and had foul to trouble some hurts. people on the bench. And, you know, so it just changed the aspect. But they, they, you know, for the first little bit there, they were sticking there right there with us. Shropshire in the corner with Fouch on her. You can tell Fouch has really worked in the offseason about keeping her hands off of people. She plays good defense. Russell with her fourth foul.
Fouch unable to hit. Shot well with the rebound. DeBolt going the other way. <laughs> I thought Kathy was going to take a charge. <laughs> I thought she was too, but then she moved her feet and picked up the foul. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I don't think I'm going to do this. Ten. Cassidy Keltner picks up the foul. The official came over and said 22. Uh, we don't have a 22, so <laughs> or we do, but she's not in the game, so it doesn't uh, doesn't work out that way. First free throw is missed. Punky sends us the update that uh, the Astros are up five to nothing in the bottom of the third. Hmm. We got some confusion. What's going on now? Yeah. What just happened? Did um, I miss something? I guess there was a lane violation. I'm not exactly sure what what happened. That ends the fourth quarter. Uh, the Lady Senators are up 70 to 30 over Emmerich Manual. We're going to step away, take a quick commercial break, and be back for the start of the fourth quarter. It's your ticket to affordable family fun. It's your ticket to high drama spectacular action and magical moments it's your ticket to an experience you'll never forget it's your ticket to the ihsaa girls and boys state basketball tournaments attending a girls or boys tournament game is a fun affordable way to see indiana's game played the way it was intended to be for the pure love of it Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and the Indiana High School Athletic Association invite you to be part of the state's rich tradition of high school sports. Pure spirit, pure sport, pure state tournament excitement. The drama is set to tip off. Do you have your ticket? Back to live action to start the uh, fourth quarter here. <coughs> Lady Senators are up 70 to 30 over Emmerich Manuel out of Indianapolis. Only given five points up that quarter. DeBolt picks up her fifth foul. The bolt has to come out. Fifteen, Cassie Warren is sent to check in. So that makes two of them. It's fouled out. Yep. Yep. Anybody else with four? Uh, nobody in the lineup right now. Oh, a sure shot. Well, thirty-three has four, four. for that. Oh yeah. So yeah. she was the one who picked up three quick ones in the first mm -hmm. half but has played most of the second half with those fouls. Before Miller hits the free throw. Miller now has five points on the night. Make that six. Robbie Batchelor is has tuned in. He was in the building earlier. Full timeout to last one. Jim Sturgeon is last full time out so we're going to step aside take a quick commercial break and we will be back with more action in just a moment it's your ticket to affordable family fun it's your ticket to high drama spectacular action and magical moments it's your ticket to an experience you'll never forget it's your ticket to the IHSAA Girls and Boys State Basketball Tournaments. Attending a Girls or Boys Tournament game is a fun, affordable way to see Indiana's game played the way it was intended to be, for the pure love of it. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and the Indiana High School Athletic Association invite you to be part of the state's rich tradition of high school sports. Pure spirit, pure sport, pure state tournament excitement. The drama is set to tip off. Do you have your ticket? <laughs> 
Back live. Hattie Griffiths picks up her fifth That's foul, so she's going to come out now. Hattie out, Chelsea Carter in. Going to the line is number 15, uh, Cassie Warren. Shooting the 1-1 one, one here. Poor Miller picks up that rebound. Allie Brown with a shot. Comes go. up a little short. Twenty-two, R twenty-two. Allie Brown picks up a foul. <laughs> Her first of the night. They're quick. When you put your hands on them anymore, it's a foul. Yep. Ah, uh, lane violation. <laughs> Sturgeon is not happy. That's the second lane violation that uh, they've had, and he's not happy about it. <laughs> Set to check in is number 44, Michaela Livers, replaces Monsieur Shotwell. Taylor Fouch gonna pick up her second foul. That's like almost starting to get in a foul fest again. <laughs> a lot of fouls and lane violations. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Once again, Lady Senators are up 72-30 in the fourth. A little over seven minutes to go. Oh boy. There was travel, a travel. Yeah. I didn't think he was going to call it, did you? <laughs> Shropshire tries to make a move there, but is unable to uh, control where she's going, so she ends up traveling. Chelsea Carter brings the ball up. Bowsman with the travel. Like I said, it's getting getting a little out of hand with the. Anything uh, you can do, I can do. Better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not one we want to do better. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> if, if they're, you know, if we're hitting shots, oh, then there we go. go. Nice it. steal, Taylor. Fouch for the steal. And the layup. Fouch has 18 on the evening, which I'm almost positive is her career high. If she puts it out in front of Taylor, I, I promise you she will take it. <laughs> yeah, Taylor will take that ball yeah. away. Miller goes up, unable to get it. Hankston with the rebound. Allie Brown with the steal. Outlet to Maddie Bowsman. Chelsea Carter, no. Fouch with the rebound and then gets fouled, trying to put the ball back up. 44, Michaela Livers. Her fourth. Misses the first one. Uh, 
So he's got two two girls with four now. Yeah. Both Livers and Shotwell have four, so he's going to trade them in and out. <laughs> Little confusion on fouls. Uh, Coach Jim Sturgeon not quite sure how many fouls his player had, so he subbed her out. Fouch able to hit the second one there. She ends up, she's got 19 on the evening so far. Shotwell with a nice move to Bucket. What, man, she can, she surprises me. Allie Brown to Miller, Miller underneath for two. Uh, still hustling, man. Yeah, we've got girls all over yeah. the floor. <clears throat> Looks like we're subbing in three new players. Five minutes left in the fourth. Miller, Bowsman, and Fouch all come out. Russell, Keltner, and Roll all go in. Bailey Roll with the steal. Russell with a nice oh, reverse right, a layup, nice reverse. unable to hit it. Goes out of bounds. Roll for three from the corner. It's short. Shot well with the rebound. Shot well to Shropshire. Misses Allie Brown gets the rebound. Yeah, it's crazy. You got about 45 points and you got girls. That's that's just that's just awesome. Diving Allie floor. Brown for three. Short. Gives it back to her. Russell for three. Knocks it down. Hankston able to get the bucket there. Russell oh. gets fouled. Hankston picks up the foul there. Russell goes hard to the floor. Russell going to step to the line for two more attempts. Russell misses the first one. Warren with the rebound. Somebody's got to come out. Yeah, somebody's got to come out. Keltner leaves it short. Shropshire, or sorry, not Shropshire, uh, Shotwell misses the shot there. Nice move, baby. Roll misses. <laughs> Hankston. Down the lane, Russell. If they give this to Russell, that'll be her fifth. Chelsea Carter with the foul there, so saved Ryan. It's her second of the evening. Hankston Long on that one. Steps up for the second. Leaves that one short. Oh, yeah. 
Chelsea Carter throws that one over Allie Brown's head for a turnover. Jump ball. Jump ball, white ball. <laughs> Allie Brown, <laughs> wide <laughs> open. Yeah, Just no. shook her head no, I'm no, not going to shoot I'm it. not shooting this ball. You can't make me. Russell has no problem shooting the ball. <laughs> <laughs> From one extreme to the other. <laughs> yep. Russell's going to let him fly, no problem. That's her 13th point on the night. So, once again, we've got uh, four Senators in double digits. Eighty-three, thirty-four, two oh seven, two seventeen left. Chelsea Carter gets out on the break. Oh, no. Yeah. That was a good defense. That Man, was. You hate to see something like that yeah, at the very end of a Yeah, that close with those steps down there. You know, end of a game that it's out of control yeah. anyway. So. Shropshire goes up, makes the foul there, her second. She played pretty much foul free for him. Yeah, yep. Carter's going to step up and take her free throw attempts. First one up and good. Punky says the Astros are still up. Uh, five to nothing, top of the fourth. Second one, eyes flies. Good. Her 16th point of the night. Hankston misses that one. Once again, those of you out there who are watching on the WW Senator radio um, page, make sure that you do like the uh, WW Senator live stream one because the radio one will be down um, starting in December. Go, Cass, all the way, kid. Cassie Keltner with the steal. Oh. Up, misses the layup. Ball into Ryan Russell, makes the drive, gets pushed. Hankston going to pick up her fourth foul of the evening. So now they've got three with four on them. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and they've got three on the bench with five on them. So we'll see, we'll see what uh, Coach Sturgeon has up his sleeve when the next one fouls out. Russell able to knock down the first one. You think it could be from like Hoosiers? My team's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you only got two out here. There you go. <laughs> Foucher with her second one. Like gives her 15 on the night. Oh, boy. Oh. Russell saves the ball in after it goes off in Bailey Roll's hand. Shropshire able to go down the lane and knock one in. Nine points on the evening for her. Got a minute 13 left here for the Lady Senators. Russell, three. Yep.
the second one while I hit it. So Trevor Pryor gets in double digits with 10. 45 seconds left. Russell lets the three ball fly in. Ryan Russell. 21 now for Russell. It's your ticket to affordable family fun. It's your ticket to high drama, spectacular action, and magical moments. It's your ticket to an experience you'll never forget. It's your ticket to the IHSAA Girls and Boys State Basketball Tournaments. Attending a girls or boys tournament game is a fun, affordable way to see Indiana's game played the way it was intended to be, for the pure love of it. Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and the Indiana High School Athletic Association invite you to be part of the state's rich tradition of high school sports. Pure spirit, pure sport, pure state tournament excitement. The drama is set to tip off. Do you have your ticket? Something that we can uh, definitely have Coach Russell, you know, pull us 
Washington on what we missed. Um, for West Washington, Washington. we had uh, 35 total rebounds, 10 offensive, 25 defensive. I had 15 steals, that's what I had a score, and 19 turnovers on the evening. So I'm sure Coach Russell's not going to be super pleased about the 19 turnovers in the evening. Um, we're going to step aside and have a short commercial break. Uh, hopefully Coach Russell will come down and, and join us here for a short message. Um, we'll be back in just a moment. We hear it more and more when people talk about sports. We need to change the culture. No more integrity taking a backseat to performance. No more players, coaches, and fans run amok. No more too big to fail. It sounds good. It sounds reasonable. Come to think of it, it sounds like high school sports. At the Indiana High School Athletic Association, we know that sports are just part of a student athlete's overall education and that there's more to the game than winning. We also know that high school sports are incredibly exciting. They're rich with tradition and bring communities together like nothing else. In a word, they're pure. More and more, that's what people want. High school sports, pure spirit, pure sport. This message brought to you by Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, the IHSAA, and the high schools in this community. Back, Back from break. break. Once, once again, the ladies senators are able to uh, pull out the win here over an Emory Annual 9539. Um, you know, just a big, big night for the girls here. And uh, it's, it's one of those that you, know, you, you can't say. <laughs> Can't, can't say, say enough about what they did. Um, I'm, I'm sure Coach Russell will have some things that he wants them to work, work on. Also, also has stuff that you know he's pleased about throughout, throughout the game. game. So um, we're gonna name, name our player, player of the game tonight. We've we've, we've talked, talked about it and you've you heard her stat line. Um, player of the game tonight is going to be Maddie Bowsman. Once again, the uh, stat line for her had 27 total points, um, 10 of 14. From two point range, 71%, a low of four from three point range, seven of eight from the free throw line, with 87%. I had her for three assists, one offensive rebound, eight defensive rebounds, nine total. I had her for six steals. Um, so she, she definitely fills the stat line. So once again, congratulations to Matt Bowden for being our uh, player of the game tonight. Um, tomorrow night's game, there is only going to be one game against. Uh, Madison Shaw, they're, they only have one varsity team, so they're going to play the varsity game at 7 o'clock. So if you are, um, you know, if you're coming out, make sure that you see that at 7. And if you are um, going to tune in, we will be by probably 6.30, 6.45-ish um, for, the, for the game um, for the beginning there. So um, I think Coach Russell is up in his office and going to talk to his girls and, you know, make sure that they get uh, and the information that they need. So we're, we're going to go ahead and sign off tonight. Um, with, with that, we are going to wrap up the broadcast of the West Washington Senator live stream. Thank you for your support. And as always, spread the word about being able to watch the game through um, the two Facebook pages. And um, keep in mind that the WWE Senator Radio on the will be coming down come December. So make sure that you get on the um, live stream one and like it so that you can get the group to watch those games. Um, final thought to Heath about tonight's game. And it was congratulations to Andy Bowden for coming home and learning the game. She had a great game. I think they were those played. Uh, like I said, really went well. They got out from Ann. Wondered how tired they were going to be. But how did they put up any points? I don't think they were too tired. Uh, but like I said, they uh, played a great game. Uh, and now we got two more games ahead of us for the tournament thing. And uh, we'll see how they fare up. I'm kind of excited about tomorrow night. How do they come out to do uh, back to back to back games? Uh, we'll like definitely going to test their legs tomorrow night. Um, we'll be back tomorrow night, like we said, um, as the lady senators are in action once again here 